hi so i'm going to speak about manipulation manipulation is one of the tactic of an abuser they will manipulate you by speaking things continuously into your mind and they will repeat it so many times and sound so convincing with it that you will begin to believe it they will manipulate you while you're in the abuse living with them and after getting out they will still try to manipulate you to come back and continue that abusive life uh, manipulation can involve telling you that you're no good you're no good you're not worth much um, you're nothing you're nothing without them um, they are the one who make you look good um, you are no good to anyone else but them and you are of no worth um, they will use words like calling you stupid and they will also use phrases at, like I'm the only one this is the very famous one I'm the only one who will love you or no one else will love you like I can if you have children they might say oh no one will want you with kids with a bunch of kids no one will want to date you with a bunch of kids um, they might say you cannot make it without them you need them you need a man in your life um, so many different phrases and words they can use for manipulation but manipulation is pretty much to keep you trapped in the abusive situation because it's all about control they manipulate so they can continue to control you to have control over your life um, that's what an abuser feeds on control 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 it's all about control and they don't want to lose that control so the game of manipulation that they play is to keep you in the abusive situation they don't want to move on to someone else who they're going to have to retrain let me use that phrase because pretty much manipulation they're trying to train you to train your mind train your thoughts into believing whatever they say into believing that there's no point leaving because you won't be able to make it without them you have too many kids you won't be able to make it without them um, you don't have a job they're the only one working so you won't make it without them but I want you to know that don't listen to those manipulations you can make it without living with an abuser you can make it without continuing an abusive relationship you can make it God can help you to make it um, it might be rough starting off when you leave because um, for some people they ha end up have to go into shelters so yes it's tough it's not you know the greatest feeling um, it may be uncomfort uncomfortable but it is better to do that than continue in an abusive situation um, because we all know abuse can end in death and um, someone breaking you apart like that is just not healthy it's not healthy for um, for your mental it's not even healthy for your physical because that turns into stress and that will even bring sickness onto your body um, and even make you not look like yourself anymore and so you can make it so don't listen to the manipulations if you're in that situation don't listen to that with God you can do all things he will help you it might be rough in the beginning and he might make another way out for you but 
you should not remain in an abusive situation because abuse leads to death many times so don't listen to that and if you have moved away from the abusive situation as I said the manipulation will also come when also when you leave because the goal is to pull you back in the, so they'll manipulate your mind with the I love you's um, no one else will love you like I do um, they're the only one who really cares about you you need them you can't do without them um, the children need mother and father together they might use that that as well but no children need to stay in an abusive situation because it affects them indirectly and I will talk about that in another video so they will use manipulation to try to pull you back in to the relationship and then with false promises right they use false promises to manipulate your mind um, tell you all the sweet things and and make promises that it won't happen again they're going to change things will be better I'm gonna do things a different way I won't do that anymore um, I'll change so they just want to pull you back in without um, without doing the necessary work on themselves some people some men could change but if they're verbal abusers only there's a, a possibility they can change but they have to want to work on themselves do a mental work on themselves right so but many times they don't change which if you're living in it even when you're living with them they make promises anyway so you see right there that no change comes to it the change doesn't happen um, they're sweet maybe for a week and nice to you maybe for a week and then they switch back to that mean person again that abusive person again or maybe they might stretch it to three months and then out of nowhere here comes that angry person again right so don't listen to the wonderful things that they say um, you need to separate yourself let them work on themselves if they have the capacity um, to to change then it will happen they will seek to they will seek to work on themselves but if it's if you see and you will know based on what you're enduring if it's a situation where you're being physically harmed uh, physical abuse and you know as I said anger anger an angry man can is capable of anything especially when it gets to rage so don't listen to the manipulations that they bring to your mind it's only to keep you in the abuse so they can continue having control and if you leave and then they're trying to pull you back in also manipulation to pull you back into the abuse into what you were enduring and the question is do you want to endure that again do you want someone who's going to change only for a month or two and then you return back to the hell of a life that you were living and your children um, witnessing a, 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 a horror situation yeah pretty much I'm sure it's horror for them to you know like a horror movie I'm sure it's like a horror movie to watch um, their dad or that man speaking to their mother like that beating their mother hitting their mother you know so yeah you don't want to pull your kids back into that and you don't want to pull put yourself back into that once you leave then you just need to move on with um, progressing yourself making yourself better finding yourself again because many times we lose ourselves while we're in the abuse so don't be drawn in with the manipulations it's just all sweet talk and that's all it is and let me share with you the scripture that God showed me um, 
when I was dealing with manipulation in the end and wondering should I listen to it you know is he telling the truth is he being honest because you know how they sound real sweet and honest like yes I'm gonna change but they have no intention to the only intention in their hearts is to continue the abuse continue being mean um, continue the verbal attacks and to just continue with the control and the scripture is Psalm 55 verse 21 Psalm 55 verse 21 and the scripture says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords wow wow when they begin the manipulation and tell you the sweet things their words are so smooth like butter right that's why we slide back in right and but his and the words softer than oil oh my goodness yeah mm -hmm. that's exactly how it is right but really what's in their heart what's the real intention mm. let me read that again psalm chapter 55 verse 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords so when the manipulation starts whether you're in it or if you're out and it feels like you're being pulled back in just remember that his words may be smoother than butter softer than oil but what's in his heart what are you gonna suffer again what are you gonna endure again don't be pulled back in with the manipulation take care now and be safe